Right number one in Tulsa, Oklahoma, Chase Outlaw just finished his second ride in the short round. So far the top of the leaderboard. We're going to keep the mud on his face because it makes you look really authentic. Let's just start from here and then we'll work our way backwards. How was that last ride? Uh, good ride. I know uh, Storm has said that Shane Proctor got on him at a rodeo n not too long ago and could be anywhere from 88 to 90 on him and uh, heck, just worked out. Worked out for the best. I did my part, and he did his. You mentioned that you thought he was kicking you in the foot. You could feel something during the entire ride. Yeah, it felt like he was cow kicking me in the bottom of my foot. I don't know what that was. It could have been that or my bells hitting me in my foot. But Maybe it took your mind off of the riding. It could be a good thing. <laughs> Just <laughs> sit up and calm, cool, and relaxed. Let's back up then. I was going to talk about Australia. You were down there for the Australian Cups. You won two of those events. Your mindset was really focused on being relaxed. Explain a little bit more about that. Uh, just uh, not worrying about what I was setting coming back into the short round because I come back in setting the short round first, both both events, and uh, I didn't even know I was winning it coming back till they had to come find me to go out to do the draft. So uh, just sit up, relax, and not worrying about nothing and no – when you get through riding, that you've done all you could do, and heck, it works out for the best that, that way. With that said, would you say then that you in the past have had some sort of an issue with perhaps tightening up or getting nervous? Uh, yeah, I know like, when I first come on to the Built for Tufts, everything, and uh, first ride in PBRs, like I was, I'd get nervous and stuff, and uh, on like how I was setting whatever, but it really don't matter. It don't matter if you're setting first or seventh coming into that short round because it's anybody's ball game in that short round. Is the nerve-wracking part these tough bulls that you get on or the amount of money that you're competing for? Uh, all that and uh, just seeing all the guys that I watched when I was a little kid, sit, watching them on TV and then coming and riding with them. Uh, just gives you a different mindset when you actually realize that you know you're here and this is where you're at. They have definitely taken notice of you. Good job this week. Thank you, ma'am. Have a good day.